Welcome to the Brew Bomb Brewing video. Be sure to watch the setup video prior to brewing. Place the catch cart underneath the cylinder, and then let's prepare your coffee grinds by doing some pre-infusion with water. Pre-infusion is important because it will allow the water to easily drain through the coffee grinds, extracting your cold brew. The formula is approximately one pound of coffee to one pound of water. The objective is to just slightly coat the grinds with a layer of water. Do not saturate the coffee grinds. The coffee grind should feel like moist sand if you've properly pre-infused. After the grinds are pre-infused, go ahead and put the grinds into the brew cylinder. Once placed in the cylinder, level out the top, but do not pack the grinds. Next, we'll place on the rain lid, and we'll attach the water supply to the rain lid nozzle stub using the push-in fitting. Next, we'll set up your brew profile program. Use the auto function on the controller and input four variables, including yield, brew time, coffee quantity, and the fact that you've pre-infused. The controller will calculate the desired flow rate and total amount of water to dispense to achieve your desired brew profile. Under pre-infuse, say yes, and then input the amount of water that you did pre-blend with the coffee grinds. Once everything is input, go ahead and press run. The controller has now calculated a target flow rate as well as a total amount of water to dispense so as to achieve your desired yield. Open the control valve and align the target flow rate with your actual current flow rate. Notice that variances in water pressure and other factors will make it impossible to match the current with the target flow rate precisely, just get close. The target flow rate is actually a real-time number and will constantly recalculate showing the, the flow rate required to finish the brew within your brew time. Let's adjust the nozzle distance from the grinds. Release the clamp on top of the rain head and move the nozzle so that the spray pattern is just inside the brew cylinder. And that's it, you're making cold brew.